G'day YouTube, Jamie from Oz. So one of the things we're going to do here today is just quickly look at the TrueLine 88 with a gauge on the spindle. As we come down you can see we have a DRO indication of the offset in Z. So the true line is giving us on a downwards travel no motion at all in the spindle. On the upwards travel because I'm handling this crank and cranking backwards and forwards on it we've got a cyclical pressure that's happening on the spindle so that if I push hard we've got about a 0.2 millimeter plus 0.2 millimeter minus that we can influence the head but it does return back around the same center so my expectation is that when I cut a hex on at the end of this shaft that I'll be able to lift and lower so as we are lowering we're getting very minor influence based on the handle as we're lifting we're getting more influence based on the lifting and the rotating of the handle we're getting an accurate Z adjustment so if we're trying to see where we finish up and if we want to bring the head up a specific distance we can actually crank that in and so we want to get to 50 So we can lift and lower the Z to a specified height off our work so that we could then similar, similarly calculate those offsets in our work. I think that sort of tells the story I'm trying to tell. But essentially the story is the DRO, which we'll just bring you over for a quick look at. The DRO is reading off the true line. There's a scale connected to the adjustment alignment block and the collar. So we're getting a defined Z offset. Similarly, we can put a K offset on our quill so that as we lift and lower, we have a defined Z position on the table. That's what this piece here will be coming into next is to just bring in the quill DRO as well. Mounted off the casting here, up inside there, so that we can actually have that is part of our reading as well, as that lifts and lowers. To all you guys there at the Bar Z Summer Bash this week, have a great time. Wish I was there. And uh, don't forget, let Bruce know if you're chasing a True Line 88 for your round column mill. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the way it keeps its tram. And I think once we get that handle resolved, there's just that really, it's still quite a bit of motion happening. Just the offset as we lift and lower. And I'm fairly confident once we've got a, a drive, as I say, essentially planning to put something like a drill, so we've got a constant rotation as opposed to a lever arm racking forwards and backwards it'll be a really quite elegant solution. Thanks for watching.